The Tale of Despero, Chapter 2, Such a Disappointment Despero Tilling lived, but his existence was cause for much speculation in the mouse community. He is the smallest mouse I've ever seen, so said his Aunt Florence. It's ridiculous. No mouse has ever, ever been this small, not even a Tilling. She looked at Despero through narrowed eyes as if she expected him to disappear entirely. No mouse, she said again, ever. Despero, his tail wrapped around his feet, stared back at her. Those are some big ears he's got, too, observed his Uncle Alfred. They look more like donkey ears, if you ask me. They're obscenely large ears, said Aunt Florence. Despero wriggled his ears. His Aunt Florence gasped. They say he was born with his eyes open, whispered El Uncle Alfred. Despero stared hard at his uncle. Impossible, said Aunt Florence. No mouse, no matter how small or obscenely large eared, is ever born with his eyes open. It simply isn't done. His pa, Lester, says he's not well, said Uncle Alfred. Despero sneezed. He said nothing in defense of himself. How could he? Everything his aunt and uncle said was true. He was ridiculously small. His ears were obscenely large. He had been born with his eyes open. And he was sickly. He coughed and sneezed so often that he carried a handkerchief in one paw at all times. He ran temperatures. He fainted at loud noises. Most alarming of all, he showed no interest in the things a mouse should show interest in. He did not think constantly of food. He was not intent on tracking down every crumb. While his larger, older siblings ate, Despero stood with his head cocked to one side, holding very still. Do you hear that sweet, sweet sound, he said? I hear the sound of cake crumbs falling out of people's mouths and hitting the floor, said his brother, Toulouse. That's what I hear. No, said Despero. It's something else. It sounds like, um... Honey. You might have big ears, said Tulis, but they're not attached right to your brain. You don't hear honey, you smell honey. When there's honey to smell, which there isn't. Son, barked Despero's father, snap to it. Get your head out of the clouds and hunt for crumbs. Please, said his mother, look for crumbs. Eat them to make your mama happy. You are such the skinny mouse. You are a disappointment to your mama. Sorry, said Despero. He lowered his head and sniffed the castle floor. The reader, he was not smelling. He was listening with his big ears to the sweet sound that no other mouse seemed to hear. So now we know that the setting of this book is in a castle, that um, our main character is Despero, but his family is very much involved and they're involved really in putting Despero down. They're telling him he's not very much like a mouse. They're making fun of his ears. They're speaking of his um, eyes being wide open when he was born, how that's ridiculous. And then I'm sure you could picture Despero with his little handkerchief in his paw and just listening. And he describes um, sounds as honey where the other mice know that honey can be smelled or tasted. So Despero hears something quite interesting. I wonder what it's going to be.